this library video tutorial, we will show you how to do library research for literary research. All of our library resources for literary research are going to be particularly helpful for you because they have reviews, essays, literature criticisms, analysis, poetry, prose, drama, and biographies related to literature, authors, including author information, criticisms of their work. You're going to want to use library resources because they are credible resources researched from an academic perspective. Unlike something like Sparknotes or Wikipedia, which your instructors aren't going to be as friendly towards because who knows where that information is coming from. To do this type of research, you're going to want to use a library database. A library database is a collection of electronic information similar to Google, but it's going to be slightly different in the way that you research it and the type of content is there. Since in this instance, it's going to be coming specifically from an academic perspective and within the subject area of literature, which should make this research process easier for you. When doing this type of research, you're going to want to go to the library database website, which is listed above here. And there's a number of different ways you can search using the library database page. Databases can be arranged by subject area. So if I go ahead and click on the left hand side here and then scroll down to English, it will pull up only those databases related to a, a English perspective. Or if I know what database I'm looking for specifically, I can click on the letter here corresponding to the database name. In this instance, I would recommend the database ProQuest Learning Literature. By reading the description here, we can see that it has biographies, literary criticisms, essays, and reviews, which will be perfect for my literary research. When you sign into the database, you may be asked for your login information. It is listed on the left-hand side here of the database page. It's going to be your school email, and then your password is going to be your student ID in full. If you have any questions, go ahead and look at this little box in the corner. Now that I'm in ProQuest Learning Literature, let's take a look around. You can see that I can look at specific authors by clicking on their face here or typing in their name. I also have access to dictionaries, the sources, literary criticisms. So let's say I'm interested in the work, the things they carry. I recommend you only use keywords when searching in the database because it will not recognize questions or stream of thought. So in this instance, I would type in the title of the work I'm looking for or the author's name. Now I've typed in the thing they carry here in this instance. I'm actually missing the S on things. That's how specific the database can be. So if you're not getting any results, make sure you check your spelling. Now I've corrected this to the things they've carried and you can see here that I have a lot more results. If I'm interested in a piece of work, I'm going to go ahead and click on the title. And it's going to give me either the text itself or a link to the PDF format. From here, I should be able to read the article in full. If you're interested in going back to the results, just click the little box here that says back to your main result page. You're also going to want to pay attention to where that work is coming from. So this one is a New York Times book review, which is going to have different information compared to the Journal of Interdisciplinary Study of Literature. The second one here is going to be more uh, academic uh, oriented. So if I go ahead and click on here, I can see the difference of where this information is coming from. A literary journal versus perhaps an article written online or in a newspaper. So this is where it's going to be up to you to discern what is appropriate for your research for your class and your instructor's expectation. Once I've found something that looks interesting, I can click the PDF as explained previous to print it. I can email a copy to myself or I can click the citation button and it will create the MLA citation for me. Always look through here and make sure that the citations look correct. I actually see a little bit of an issue down here with this one. So while this is handy, you can copy and paste it into your Works Cited page. Always make sure these look correct. This is also going to be a really good place to look for author's biographies. So if there's a particular author you're looking for, you can type in their name. And remember that spelling counts. 
and then here is going to give me information about that author. It's actually going to search for criticisms of their works. It's also going to give us other images, different resources, including a biography. So this database can be particularly helpful when you're doing literary research because it has all the different criticisms, references, the sources, it has a lot of resources in one spot for you. Going back to that database page, I would also recommend using the database JSTOR. JSTOR is great for anything humanities related, so history, anthropology, literature. I'm going to recommend that we use the advanced search to do our searches. Now let's say I'm interested in something like the Telltale Heart, and I would like a review of that writing, that work. Only do one search term per box and keep it simple and to the point. A keyword is basically the main idea of what you're looking for. So we can see that I have 124 results. From here I can filter those results and give a specific date range I want them between, so maybe I only want something from the last 15 years. And then it also gives you the ability to search by subject. So in this instance, I'm not really looking from like a history or education perspective, political science, which you might be, but if I'm looking from a literature language perspective, I can click here and it will only show me sources from a research perspective of literature. We can see that that's narrowed our results down to 90. Once I find an article that looks interesting, I can go ahead and click on the title. And from here, I can read the actual work. If you want, you can click download PDF to print a copy, or you can share a link back to yourself to this work through email. Another easy way to get access to this article again is by clicking over here. You see this little URL? This is a stable URL. That means if you copy and paste this to any browser, it will take you back to this article. And again, we have the citation button so that all you have to do is copy and paste. As you search through the database, I do recommend that you try different keywords. So instead of just saying telltale heart and review, I might try using the term criticism and I will get different results based off of that different keyword term. So from here, I can go ahead and look through my results and see if anything looks more relevant to my topic or the perspective I'm taking with my own research. Always remember to try different keywords when you're searching in the database. Those are the basics of looking for literary research through the SFCC library databases. Remember, you must sign into the databases, especially if you're off campus. Here's an example of what that sign-in information would look like. If you have any issues or questions with signing in, please contact the IT Help Desk at 509-533-4357. If you have any questions about your research or would like a little bit of help on how to use the databases, keywords to come up with, how to approach your research, please contact the librarians at the Research Desk. We are at 509-533-3834, and you can email us on the email listed on the screen. Thank you and enjoy your reading and have a good time with your literary research. I think it can be a lot of fun.